Right, to know the formula for the area and circumference of a circle and to be able to use it, that's grade C. So we've got some special words for the circle that we need to know. We know that from the center to the edge of the circle is called the radius. Passing straight through the center from one side to the other is the diameter. We know all the way around is usually the perimeter of a shape, but we call it the circumference because it's a circle. And we know that inside the circle, obviously we're talking about area. So we're being asked to find the circumference. So we know that the sometimes we are given the diameter, which is 8 centimetres in this case, and we know that the formula for the circumference is pi times diameter. So if we know that pi is roughly 3.14 to two decimal places, we can use our formula to times it by 8, which is the diameter, and we get 25.12 centimetres. Now it's in centimetres because we're doing the perimeter all the way around, which is the circumference, which is a length. So here's one for you to have a go at. Find the circumference of a circle that's got a diameter of 14 centimetres. Press pause to have a go at it, and then press play for the answer. So here's the answer to the question. Again, we know the formula is pi times diameter. We know pi is 3.14, so we've got to find 3.14 times 14, which is 43.96 centimetres. So this time, we're given the radius, which is 5 centimetres. So we're going to be using the fact that the diameter is 2 of the radiuses, so we're going to be using... The formula for the circumference being pi times 2 of the radiuses, which is the same as the diameter. So our circumference then will be pi lots of 2 of my radiuses. My pi is 3.14 times that by my diameter, which is 2 of my radiuses, and we get 31.4 centimetres. So see if you can find the circumference of this circle it's got a radius of 3. Press pause to have a go at the question, and then press play for the answer. So we know that circumference is going to be pi times my two radiuses. 3.14 then, times 2 times 3, which is going to be 20.09 metres this time. And that's all the way around. So we're being asked to find the perimeter of a composite shape. So we've got the length of it being 12 metres and the radius of one of the circles being 3 metres. So we need to know that the perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside of the shape. So we're going to walk all the way around it. So we need to decide then what the shape is actually made up of. So we can see we've got a semicircle a rectangle, another semicircle. So we know that our rectangle in the middle is one shape, but our two semicircles, if we join them together, will make one full circle. So we've got a rectangle and a circle. So we know we've got 12 metres length for the rectangle. We know we've got a radius of 3 metres for the circle. So for the rectangle, we're going to have 12 metres on the top and 12 metres on the bottom, so that's going to be 24 metres. So we just now need to know what the distance is all the way around the circle. So we know that our circumference is 2 pi r, which is pi times 2 lots of r, so our circumference is 2 times 3.14 times the 3. So it's going to be 18.84 metres. So our total perimeter, if we add these together, will be 24 plus 18.4, so that's 42.84 metres. So we've got to find the area of this shape. When we're finding the area... 
it's usually easier if we give them the radius. So our radius is 7 centimetres, and we know that our formula is pi r squared. We know that pi is 3.14, so to find the area, we're going to have 3.14 times 7 squared, which is 7 times 7, so we've got 153.86 centimetres squared. So you have a go at seeing if you can work out what the area of this circle would be if we're given the diameter. Press pause to have a go at the question, and then press play to reveal the answer. So here's the answer then. We know that to go from the diameter to the radius, we've got a half. So our radius is 4 metres. Our formula is pi r squared. So pi is 3.14. So we've got 3.14 times 4 times 4 which is 50.24 meters squared. So we've got to find now the area of this composite shape. Again, it's exactly the same question that we had before, with it being 12 and 3 meters. Again, we know that the area is the amount inside the shape this time, and as before, it's going to be made up of our rectangle and two semicircles one semicircle, rectangle, and other semicircle. So as before, we know we've got a rectangle and a full circle to find the area of. So our rectangle then, we know is 12 meters. We know that the radius of the circle is three meters. So we know that the half the distance of the length of the side of the rectangle is going to be 3, so the entire distance all the way up and down will be 6. So to find the area of the rectangle, we've got to have our 12 meters times the 6 meters, which gives us 72 meters squared. So now we've just got to find the area of the circle. We know the formula is pi r squared, so we've got pi times r squared. And so we get an area of 28.26 uh, metres squared. So then we've just got to find our total area, which we meet just add them together, which is 100.26 metres squared.